How you doing everybody? So uh, it's a cold old day in the valley, there's no doubt about it and uh, uh, I don't think it's going to get much above freezing today that's for sure. You see he's not too uh, keen to be out here, he keeps on running back in, uh, lying in front of the log burner and then he's got more sense eh? What do you want? What do you want? You always want to be on the video don't you? Stop. Anyway. Uh, because I've got lots of jobs to do the good thing about it is it doesn't stop me the cold weather I've got loads and loads of other stuff to do and what I'm doing at the moment is making the weather boards for the gable ends of the uh, wagon and uh, I took a template off the old ones and uh, I'm going to show you these and this is what can happen to plywood if it's not the right stuff okay and i'm going to show you a top tip and handy hint of it as well so this plywood that i'm using to make the uh, weatherboards here is um marine ply so it's more expensive but it's designed to be outside uh clues in the name marine hey get out of that uh the other thing i've done is as well is i've actually uh, i've sort of took the template off it but then i made it bigger I made it a, an inch wider and uh, so they're four inch wide and the reason for that is when you put them on the wagon and you're sitting on the front of the wagon driving down the road with your horses you can sort of jam your shoulder up against them and sort of wedge yourself in there a bit if they're only real narrow things and a bit flimsy get down Rob, and a bit flimsy the uh, the um the, it's not the good it's not the right thing that's all there is to it so four inches wide for me is optimum and the other thing I'm going to show you is when it comes to these because I've broken the surface by doing these chamfers and cutting the edges and everything I do the same with these as I do with treating knots in wood so low torch And not only there, but also all around the outside as well, and the inside of it. And what there is, you know, plywood is a laminate. It's loads of layers of wood glued together. It makes it really strong, but prone to getting damp into it and splitting so it's a bit like when I do this for the uh, the knots in wood I'm melting the surface so I'm melting the glue a bit to help seal it so just do this one so just scorch it a little bit there you go and then this stuff that saves everybody saying what are you using Chris and uh, the whole idea of this stuff is for painting on knots and it stops them from bleeding stops the uh, the resin from coming out of them what this does is seal it up and uh, you don't need to put much on what you don't want to do after I have sanded them, I've given them a fine sanding as well, these chamfers, is go sanding it again after. This is your finish and you've got to put your primer on top of this. Don't go sanding it off because you just don't do all the good work you've done. That's the problem with that. And then seal all around the edges as well. This has been done all the way around. And when it dries and you put your hand on it, you can feel it. You can feel that it's sort of sealed up and nice and smooth. And just, uh, you know, if you've gone this far and you're going to make new weatherboards, you might as well do the extra, extra bit and uh, future proof them as much as you possibly can. And then uh, a good quality primer and undercoat on it and a good quality gloss paint job away you go so there we go 
cracking on everything's moving on it's cold but it's dry which is great and it's january so it should be cold there eh? take care everybody thanks very much